What's up dudes and dudettes? Yep, we put a crate into the Helix. How did we do it? Tone matched IRs. Crate Stealth 50 in the Helix. Uh, this pack comes with three um, different presets. I want to take you through them a little bit. Because um, this thing, this crate has been called the Marshall Killer. And it's also been called a hideous, terrible sounding amp that you can't get a good sound out of. I understand why both of those are there. It's its its own thing. It comes from the Lee Jackson modded Marshall lineage, but you got to really set this up right. you got to set this with the right speakers um, and get the mic positioning right, and then maybe you can even do some outboard stuff if you want. I understand why people would call it a Marshall killer, because here we are on Stealth 51, and you can see the tone-matched IR right there. I'm not doing a ton of crazy stuff here with my Brit 2204, which is like a JC, early JCM 800. Sounds like that. <laughs> Yep, you know, normal thing, kind of sounds like a, a Marshall. Now, for channels two and three, on the amp, that is like the marshall channel. On channels two and three, that's where it goes to modded Marshall, extra high-end territory. And that's why this amp has been loved by like niche metal bands and, you know, um, it has a sound all its own, right? First, I'm going to take you to three and check it out. We're doing a, a little, we're doing some stuff here. First of all, out of the box on the, um, on the rock setting, it sounds like this. <laughs> You know, high endy, bright, bitey. Um, you can come over here and there's a couple things you can do to it. If you want to take off some of the stuff I've got going on, I kind of call this my tone polish. You know, right here, I take this off right here and I can even take off my, uh, uh, my EQ, and it sounds like this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just shaving off some high end, some of those higher treble frequencies that I feel like this amp gets a little unruly with, which uh, you can do or you don't have to, sounds like this if you do. And then I like to just put a little LA-2A kind of thing after the guitar. That's a very common studio trick. Here are my settings right here. You can copy it even if you don't um, buy the, you know, buy the pack. Um, that's, that's what I use on a lot of stuff and it's kind of the light, just kiss the signal a little bit. Basically, number three has a little bit of outboard EQ that I, um, uh, that I put on uh, before I tone matched it. And then uh, Stealth 52 is like pretty much true to the amp right out of the box, channel two. And Stealth 51 is is pretty much true to um, channel one right out of the box. So uh, I'll shut up now. Here's some more clips. Check it out. Hey. 